As Nigeria's aviation industry prepares for the planned resumption of domestic flights on June 21st, stakeholders are calling on the federal government to ensure that support is provided for operators. They say it's important so they can meet the post-COVID safety guidelines without incurring more losses. In this next report, our correspondent looks at how the industry plans to bounce back after a three-month break. Globally, the aviation sector is one of the biggest hit industry by the coronavirus pandemic due to lockdowns imposed by several countries and the subsequent grounding of air transport. Monthly losses for the Nigerian aviation sector is estimated at nearly 20 billion naira. President of Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative Nigeria, Gabriel Olowo, explains how gloomy the situation has been for operators in Nigeria. Aeroplane sitting on ground gets sick. And you can imagine how many aeroplanes is parked on ground all over the world now. They fall sick because of maintenance challenges. In the last three months now, our staff in the airline sector, they are starving. Some are on follow, compulsory leave without pay. The travel agencies who distribute them are shut down. The catering service, onboard service, people have invested in a lot of facility to supply onboard meal. They are down because the principal, the airline, they are off. So all the entire value chain are suffering. With a June 21 tentative date set for the resumption of domestic flights in Nigeria, airlines may have to reduce their maximum seat capacity in line with COVID-19 safety guidelines. While Lolowo welcomes the news of resumption, he says the burden of airfares and cost for empty seats must not be at the expense of operators. The demand of social distancing on board, where today's passenger is asking for the cheapest fare, let me get the cheapest fare, and they go to different websites looking for cheapest fare. You might need 70, 80, 90 percent load factor to break even. If you want me to put only 50 seats, is that an aeroplane that takes 120? If my fair economic fare should be $500, and you want my people, passengers in Nigeria, to pay $100, government pays a subsidy of $400. The airlines must operate economic tariff. If social distancing will not make that happen, government should subsidize the tariff. The aviation expert also prefers other solutions that will ensure airlines carry out economic operations. Government should deliberately then say, oh, a domestic operator is fuel, fuel is selling at 10 hour out there. We give it to you at five. It's our product. So that we lower your cost. The exchange rate is um, 450. We'll give you at 150. All right. If landing and parking is 10,000 naira per hour, I give you at 5,000. We must have all passenger tariff is subsidized. Don't pack money and give to the airlines. Attend to airline cost reduction directly. In terms of recovery, Olowo projects a possible time frame for the aviation sector to pick up. It, it might last till another one, two years. This year, forget it, 2021, because confidence will take time. We're talking about challenges of social distancing on board. Confidence will take time to develop. Payload will take time. But I see leisure travel coming up faster than corporates. Corporate will slow down because a lot of things can be done virtually there now. Meetings and all the rest of it, your Zoom meeting, your webinars. Going forward, experts are calling for deliberate attention to be paid in solving Nigeria's airline problem. In addition to this, airports are required to upgrade to self-service check-in and security system to limit human interaction during these changing times. We are Dekunle TV360, Lagos.